members of the press. Uh, we just had a, a session which is a continuation of the session we had with the FCT IRS, which is Federal Capital Territory Internal Revenue Service. Um, we started on Tuesday for their 2021 budget proposal. Uh, you may recall that um, during the first session we had uh, some discrepancies in their submission of which we highlighted and they accepted and they went back and came back today with another proposal. In the same proposal, again, certain issues were raised and uh, uh, we, we decided that we are going to look at their proposal and if there are issues, that we'll let them know and call them back and see what we can do about those, those issues. What is very important and paramount at this point is the 2020 performance. Um, I recall January 2020, the same team came and submitted their, defended their proposal for 2020 budget. And the committee approved the sum of five billion three hundred and plus, plus uh, million naira, which was derived from their five percent cost of collection of 2019, and also balances brought forward from 2018. And in that proposal, it was agreed that they would set up their operations fully in the year 2020. They were to employ, provisions was made for employment of about 400 people, 400 staff, and uh, with all the attendant support structures, vehicles, offices, so that FCT IRS will fully take off. Having been in operation for two years at that time, or rather three, almost three years at that time, and uh, they were to severe all connections from, well, it may, because these, uh, they, they also have the joint tax, I'm not talking about, but in terms of their, their statutory responsibilities, FIRS should not be party to collecting on their behalf of their own mandate. They are to do their own, having been fully structured. And we remember that apart from uh, uh, payments that were made in 2019, nothing was to be paid to them in 2020 and 2021 uh, moving forward. However, we have seen in their budget proposal monies that are to be paid to FRS, the sum of one billion in 2021. And uh, right, the chairman rightly said that uh, they have an agreement with FIRS that they, they will pay 2% to FIRS on collection. cost of collection on any monies collected on their behalf. That one billion is a reflection of 2% of 50 billion. And we have not seen anywhere where FIRS has collected 50 billion or will collect 50 billion on behalf of FCT IRS. In fact, what FIRS collected on behalf of FCT IRS in 2020 is 3.7 billion naira. Now, if you do the calculation and the mathematics for 2020, 2% 2 of that is roughly about 60, 60, 3.7, right? 74, 74 million naira, naira about. But we see a figure of 1 billion. So there are issues that uh, needs to be uh, addressed. And um, one other area that is of immense concern is if you are given an approval and the money is available, it's not that you have to go and sort the money. Like I said, their revenue for a particular year 
is the cost of collection of the preceding year. So in 2020, when we approved 5.3 billion, from January 1st, 2020, that money was already available because that was money that was collected in 2019. So if you have 5.3, 5 point, correct me, Clark, is 5.3 billion? Yes, for last year. For 2020. 2020 and you could clearly see that what they have expended in 2020 is 799 million. A reflection of less than, what's the percentage? Seven ninety nine million out of five point about nineteen percent, that's right. Nineteen percent. So for me and as an economist and also for the committee, I think that reflects an underperformance. If you are given money that is available and you have you 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 maybe they lack the capacity to expend that money. But obviously it is very clear that in this era when the committee is impressing on FCT because of the lack of infrastructure, the decaying infrastructure in FCT and the satellite towns, we need a lot of revenue to, 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 to tackle those challenges or else our infrastructure and basic amenities and social amenities will collapse within the FCT. Here is the agency saddled with Revenue generation, revenue collection will not do so and is a bit incompetent to do that. So um, this is clearly what we have observed and this is what uh, I think after our deliberation, after looking at their budget, we would also uh, give the position of the committee and we are going to address the media and we'll also forward our recommendation to both the FCT IRS board and also the Minister of the FCT and Minister of State of FCT. I think, um, is there anything? You, okay. So this is basically those issues. chairman is fully backed by legislation by law and it's tenured and uh, I think whatever happens we we'll have to follow the law I uh, just uh, the, I think I'm not saying that the member insinuated that the chairman should resign but what he was referring to was in other situations in other areas if such a thing happened a chairman would resign Yes, that's what he said. In decent society, so he's not referring that he should resign. He was, he was just implying. So please, next time, listen very well. But I have here the law that says uh, the chairman and other members of the board, other than ex official members, shall hold office for a a term of four years, renewable once only. Okay, so. That's, that's the situation, that's the position of the law. Okay.